In this video, I'll be showing you the best way to make coins right now in FIFA 21. Now, this is a sort of a bit of a mini series that I do every couple of weeks, just showing you some of the best ways to make coins in FIFA 21. If you enjoy this video, lads, drop a massive, massive like on it. I'm going to be taking a few days off, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be sort of, there will be videos over the next sort of couple of days. But to be honest, I'm probably just going to be taking a few days off. Because as you let's know, I've been in isolation and I've just come out of it. So I want to make the most of it, boys. I'll probably be back properly just after the new year. So back with streams and stuff like that. But keep an eye out, subscribe with notifications on because I'll be doing streams and videos. And I may be posting here and there as well. So... Just subscribe, boys. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. But let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, jumping in to my transfer market. As you'll be able to see here, this is what the club is looking like. Obviously, this is on my training to 1 million coin series. I don't want this to be a video really taking a look at it too much, to be honest, because there's no need for it. I basically just want to tell you lads to go and do some trading within forms now you might hear that and be like lewis obviously like why would you not be doing that but the main reason why i'm talking about inform trading at the minute is because it's really really good because we're going to be getting potentially new icon sbcs guaranteed team of the week sbcs and a whole host of other things for foot freeze now these couple of days in fifa are usually like a really lax period in fifa so typically it's better to trade with inform cards now you could go for special cards if you want to but in my opinion i'd say just stick with informs because it is a hell of a lot easier just sticking with one individual special card now if you haven't really got any coins whatsoever this method probably isn't the best for you you probably need around 50,000 coins there or thereabouts however if you click up here I made a video on Christmas Day for really really easy trading method so if you want just something that you can just go and do it and it's easy and it makes your coins go and check that video out because I made it as easy as you can possibly do it now what we're gonna be doing is basically gonna be trading first off with this first method is gonna be trading with the cheapest Premier League informs and Premier League special cards because you can actually get yourself pretty decent deals now what i've been doing is i've been picking up inform cards from the best leagues for around 10,500 and under and then listing them up for 13,000 coins 14,000 coins and what's been happening is they've been selling on to lazy buyers so that's making me around 2,000 coins per card which is really really good after the air tax so based on the back of that i'm going to recommend for you lads to go and do some trading with this as well so first off what you need to do you need to find the minimum price of all the inform cards and then what you need to do is go and find yourself inform cards over the hour max so can you see at the bottom here right so look at the bottom there's the time remaining and that's over an hour and we're basically just seeing what the price is on all those and it's looking like that the cheapest price over an hour is 11 750 because there's some of these martinez is right here so the method won't work the best at the minute we are gonna have to change up ever so slightly how we do it because what you need is one card over the hour mark and what you can actually do is just sit here press compare price and back and what it'll do is it'll refresh the market and show you the cheapest cards that are popping up and then what you need to do is basically basically just jump into action pick one of them up but you can do this with pretty much any single popular league so for example Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, uh, pff, let's think of other ones La Liga is another good one that you can do this with because you'll actually find players popping up for say 10,000 coins and if a, an inform card right is up at 10k it's too cheap because of all of the SBCs that are going to be coming so for example with the Serie A at the minute as you'll be able to see here they are actually already inflated in price and if you go and take a look at that that sort of range where there's one card over the hour mark you can actually get yourself very very nice deal so you can see right here that there isn't a card over the hour mark we're going to keep putting this up every now and again just to see what we do get now this is one thing that you need to do as well boys say you get to the very end right here just come here and press compare price and back and what it'll do is it'll refresh the market there's a weird glitch in fifa where for some reason they don't always show you the cheapest inform cards i don't get why i've honestly not a clue so this Xiao predator card is on the market at the minute for 18,000 coins his next one up is 19,000 coins now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to sit here and refresh the market and then I know that the minimum price on all Serie A informs at the minute is 17,000 coins if I see any for under 17,000 coins it's a deal also what I usually do as well is sometimes I'll take a risk on cards who are say 83 rated 84 rated or cards who don't pop up that much in the filter so say for example when I've searched up I know that Jovino is up Osimhen is another one 
one. DePaul is up. Drakowski is another one. Say I see a card here who isn't one of those players. I know that he could potentially be a deal. And you've got to be really, really quick. With Xbox, you have got a bit of wiggle room to try and get yourself a deal. But on PlayStation, the deals will go literally quick as anything. So you can see right there, boys. I've just managed to get myself a DePaul for 15 and a half thousand coins. Now, this guy at the minute is going for around 17,000 coins. So there, I've already made one and a half K profit. Now, after tax, you're probably going to be shaving off like... 500, 750 coins, so it's not the best, but the best thing is, right, with informs is that they will always continue to go up and up and up once they are out of packs, because what happens is, over the year, is different people put them into different SBCs, and they come off the market, so even if this doesn't sell on at 17,000 coins, I can either list it up overnight for 12 hours, and usually when you list up for 12 hours overnight, the market becomes really dry overnight, and player prices automatically rise anyway, so if you're ever trying to get an easy sell on, try and do it overnight, so I could sit here, do this for 12 hours, and I could set this price to, I don't know, let's say like 18,000 coins, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to do it for 17,000 coins, just up for the hour mark, just to show you that it does sell on, but like I said, this does work with every single league in FIFA 21, which is the best thing about about all this boys it doesn't matter what the league is it works with whatever league now if you're picking up cards who are in packs at 10,000 coins that's even better because when they go out of packs they'll automatically go up anyway because there's less supply and the demand will stay the exact same for the card so again do this with the Bundesliga go over to the Liga Santander it really doesn't matter what the minimum price is as long as you can basically look at what's on the market and decide whether or not it's a good deal you can make coins off doing this but let's move into the next method in this video now moving into the next method it is going to be with shadow chemistry styles now you let's know how much i like shadow chemistry styles basically let's run through it dead quickly shadows are going for like three thousand to four thousand coins theoretically if you find a card with a shadow on it you increase their value by three thousand to four thousand coins what happens is people come onto the market they list up cards with shadow and then what they do is they don't realize that you've actually got a better card there because it's got a shadow on it so say for example a card's going for fourteen thousand coins if it's listed up at fourteen thousand coins with a shadow on it, he could be going for 18,000, 19,000 coins because of that extra added value. So you can see right here, McTominay, and McTominay is an interesting one because people keep asking me about what to do with McTominay. Now, the video was called Buy This Card Before It's Too Late. Looks like you were too late. So, what we're going to be doing with this McTominay, first off, is going to go and check to see how much he's going for on the market without a shadow chemistry style on him. And then what we're going to do is see how much that value does increase with the shadow card. So, as you can see, he's actually going for around 16,000 coins. There are thereabouts already. There's a couple at 15,000 coins. They'll get bought up really, really quickly, though. So, with a shadow, theoretically, he should be going for around 19,000 coins. So, let's see if there's anything cheaper. So, 17,000 coins, that's been up for around seven minutes now. With the shadow method you can list for the full hour and it usually sells onto lazy so what i'm going to do is list up mine for 18,000 coins there he goes onto the market for 18,000 coins and these are some other ones from the method that i've already been using which i'm just going to relist for 13,000 coins because eventually they will sell on like i said if we get any of those spcs though this method will be absolutely perfect so there goes mctominay onto the market but i do want to keep going with this method just to show you that it does work with other leagues as well so i'm going to take that off we're going to bring this price down we're going to go over to league and why not what's kicking about in league um, so there's a triore for 13 and a half thousand coins now just before i started recording i was already taking a look at triore's price and i think his next one up at the minute is like well i think it was like 15 thousand coins yeah there's a couple there 14 and a half thousand so you know that they're not a deal there's a triore there with a shadow on in the right back but i don't really feel like that that's the best deal in the world so i move over to the other league and it's going to be syria now we know that these are already inflated so let's take a look to see how much these are going for so smalling is going for around 20,000 coins. There's an awesome end there with 20,000 coins, but with a shadow, we don't really want forward players with a shadow. There's no reason because it boosts the defending and the pace, so there's no real added value to that card. We'll have a look over in the Bundesliga, see what that's saying. Is it saying anything? I'm not 100% sure that it is, is, to be honest. So, yeah, Andre Silva, we don't want Andre Silva. Mateta, no point with Mateta. The main one that I'd be looking at would be Bayata, but his min price at the minute is around 17,000 coins. There's nothing up for cheaper than 17,000 thousand coins so again no deals with that one so let's finally move over to the Liga Santander and I think it is yeah it's not looking the best at the minute it's just these two players at the minute and I think the cheapest defender at the minute I think is quite expensive you know the team of the week from La Liga let's take a look what the cheapest one is okay 
So it's around 35,000 coins, which is absolutely mad. Maybe there'll be a deal kicking about it or like 30,000 coins or something like that. Is there anything? 3,250. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? Let me just double check his price, actually. Just before I pick this up, it, this might be one who I list up overnight, to be honest, boys. Let me just take a look. I imagine that he will be more expensive anyway because it is the weekend league. His minimum price is 30,500 coins. Over the past 24 hours, he's been consistently selling at 29,000 coins. So he's actually a bit inflated at that price and someone's already picked him up so I didn't really have to worry about it too much so maybe that was actually a deal you know yeah probably it probably was a deal so this one could be a good one for doing the refreshing method because there is one card up over the hour at 35,000 coins so again you can do the exact same thing here as what you would do with just the normal cards to be honest oh there we go 33 and a half K I got there in the end boys so he's 35 K consistent selling at the minute so what I'm going to do with that 33 K well I'm just going to list it up for 40 K and be Honestly, mega cheeky with it. Mega cheeky. And we're going to list it up for 12 hours, which will take me to 4 in the morning. So maybe it sells at 40,000 coins. Maybe it doesn't. Either way, I've still got it cheaper than all the other cards on the market, which is fine by me. I can still sell it probably at 38k if I don't get the sale on at 40k. It's not the worst thing in the world. And it probably will be a bit dried up tomorrow morning. So hopefully we'll get that sold on. But let's, in my opinion, these are the best ways to make coins right now in FIFA 21. If we take a look at my transfer list as well, you can see that all I've got on here is informs and this is literally just by doing this method and I've been using it over the past couple of days it's made me quite a lot of coins I've got to say this is a lot better though later on at night so if you can stay up I'd recommend to do it but for me I'm not staying up till like 2 in the morning just to trade cards on FIFA, but you may, might want to. It's completely up to you. But boys, I think that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. I hope you've had a really, really good Christmas over the past couple of days, but I'm going to be taking some time off now. We've been churning out streams, videos, everything. I've got a team takedown coming with Capgun Tom before New Year, I want to say. Maybe I'll do that for my New Year's Eve video. Maybe on New Year's Day. I'm not too sure. Either way though, boys, videos are coming soon. Don't know exactly when they'll be. There'll be a post on my YouTube about it. Subscribe, turn notifications on. Boys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. But let's, this space, this space six, and I'm off. Goodbye.